so I've been planing uh, this surface uh, so long. So these are the stretchers that I'd started to make. And this wood is a little chewed out, so I think I'm going to make this one of my bearers. And I have a, a cleaner piece of 2x4 over there that I'm going to turn into uh, uh, the actual tenons here. Let me show you something. I got one uh, 2x4 completely straight, but this one um, had a bit of a twist, so I started planing it, and here's what happened. Can you watch this? I press down, it's got a, it's high, and I press down here, look at this. So what has happened here? Let me show you. I was planing this surface, and there was a twist here and a twist here. So I plane on this side, got the twist out, plane on this side, got the twist out, and missed the middle quite a bit. So what do I do? I'm going to turn around and forget about that face. I would have originally started with this face and marked this my face, and then gone over to the other side, but I'm going to forget about this face and uh, come back to it later. So I'm going to make this my main face, make this my reference face. So just like I did before, I'm going, to, I'm going to clean the surface to get a good clean surface and then I'm going to check for twist. No shavings. My guess is this is a hollow here and uh, it's making my plane skip over the hollow and catch the wood when I'm right here. So I'm just going to advance my blade. Let's try the other way around. Actually, first I'm going to check if it actually is a hollow and I can see it's a hollow right here. This side, not so much, but I can see there's a twist. I can already see, I don't even have to check it with winding sticks. There's a twist right here. This end is up. So let's go. Turn it around and get to work. That wedge supports that raised end. I don't know if this is clear in the video, but I'm taking no shavings over here, taking all my shavings up here but the shavings were only coming from the ends before and now they're starting to come back which means it's getting flatter and flatter Do I care for this to be completely flat since I already said I'm going to make this my bearer? The bearer is basically a just piece of wood that's screwed into the top of the leg that this will sit on. So it doesn't have to be accurate but this is good practice and I need the practice. Before I go too far I'm going to grab my winding sticks and check for twist. Here's an interesting thing to check that I've been noticing in my work. Because I'm still learning to plane well, sometimes I end up with a little belly 
and the winding sticks do this. So I'm trying to make sure that the winding stick has no ability to rock on that face. And it's looking pretty good. It's pretty good. A little high on this side and this side. And when I'm parallel, I will come out here and mark this as the face edge or the face. And then point the arrow here. This becomes the edge that I work on. knots hanging me up. I'm high on this outside. This is how you see whether you're doing well or not. I planed the surface just now, but uh, this edge was higher, so I cantered the plane just a little bit. I didn't twist the plane. I just put a little pressure on the outside. And I got a shaving which is clean on the outside and doesn't go all the way to the other side. And this is how you get this, this face flatter because it's canted this way now. That's pretty good. Mark here real quick, call this my edge. Little bit, not going to worry about it. Like I said, it's just a bear, it just sits between the legs and the bench top. The uh, the belly on this edge is not going to matter. Three sides are planed. I'm going to run a gauge against this side for this side and find that belly. And I know that I am, uh, the, the lowest points are on my ends and, and the middle has a belly. So I'm going to set this on, on this lowest point, which the pin is just trailing the edge over there. I'm going to check with, with this side. Here's what I did so far. I took this gauge and I held it against the face edge and marked this other edge on both sides. I put a pencil line on that marking, on the gauge marking, and then I held it down with my, uh, with my clamps and planed down to the line. I just watched for the line. I took some heavy cuts in the, in the beginning, and then I took some fine cuts to get it all straight and flat. So what I ended up with, if you can see here closely, you can see there's just a faint hint of the line that is left over here and over here. Since they came from the same gauge marking from the same flat face, I am sure that this is flat and I can test it by putting it on the bench top. And remember it had a wobble before and now it is going to be flat no matter which way I go. When I see you next time, I will have four more pieces that look like that. Here's what I've done. So far, so this is uh, 
all these 2x4s that are all cut to the same length which is about 33 inches and they would all this is the largest dimension I need for the the stretchers and the uh, bear, bearers on this workbench so you can see this kind of spans the length of the the width of the workbench and a little more there's a bit of an overhang so all the six boards are planed I finished planing them yesterday uh, spent about two hours for about four boards and it took longer than I wanted because there were some boards that were very twisted and it's just a pain to be able to have to flatten the twisted boards but I need these boards to be absolutely flat and parallel and true which is why it took a little longer but they're done now and I'm glad I did it it was a good workout if you are to build a Paul Sellers workbench or English joiners workbench or any workbench for that matter, spend your time selecting really good straight flat not free stock if you can. This construction grade 2x4 is not the funnest stock to work with but you get what you have. Uh, all of this is spruce and I tried to support a local lumber mill by going there. Hey everybody, that was a fun week preparing the stock. Truing those twisted boards was pretty challenging but I did it anyway and they're done ready to do the joinery. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of challenging project you had this week. Uh, I'd love to hear about that. Uh, new video comes out on Thursdays. So hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with my channel. I hope you have a good week.